God does not exist in some parts of our temples. Just as fire exists in every aspect of the wood, it manifests only when two wood pieces are brushed against each other very rigorously and that's how a yagna is started. Yagna is not started now as it is done. You take a matchstick and light. It is actually started with two fire wood pieces rigorously rubbed against each other and the fire inherent in the wood comes out and that marks the beginning of the yagna. Similarly, God is present in every aspect of this creation. Only the one who makes unbroken efforts of rubbing himself against the efforts towards realizing God will you be able to see him manifest before you that is a very very fundamental principle but for this practice is very important however our practices are one sided practice in action not in mind practice in mind not in action practice in word but not in thought and deed we don't need to have single action we need to have a triple action. Triple action and triple purity. Once in Trai Brindavan, the exams were just over. And Swami said, Your exams are over? Yes, Swami. Results are going to come? Yes, Swami. Then he asked, What subjects are you studying in science? When the students said physics, chemistry and biosciences. This is Swami said, okay. If you get 90 out of 100 in physics, 70 out of 100 in chemistry and 20 out of 100 in biosciences, will you pass or fail? Fail. Why? One subject you have not passed. You need to pass in all subjects in order to clear examination, right? Then Swami said, okay, similarly, you get 90 out of 100 in actions. You are great in whatever you are doing. Very good public speaker, great in service, great in singing, great in dancing. 90 out of 100. You are 60 out of 100 in, action, in words. You speak very well, you sing very well, you communicate very well, you speak politely to people. In thoughts, 20 out of 100. Do you pass in God's examination? No. Just like you need to pass in the physics, chemistry and biosciences to get your BS degree, you need to pass with high marks in thought, word and deed to get the degree of spirituality. This is Trikarna Shuddhi, TKS. The essence of success in spirituality is need for unity and purity of thought, word and deed. That is the highest abhyasa which we need to do. Otherwise, we will be doing all forms of sadhana, but we will not be progressing ahead because we are doing it in bits and pieces. We are not integrating our efforts with thought, word and deed. There's a very famous story uh, of these deer in the forest. They all got together. And these are all stories you can share with the SSE children. They all got together in the forest. Uh, they had a deer conference and some 200 deers got together. And they said, we have such strong antelopes. Why should we get scared of the dogs? If we hit them with our antelopes, they will get disemboweled. We are so swift with our movement. We can jump over obstacles and small bushes and all of that. If we kick them, they will fall down. That is the power which the deer have. Why should we get afraid of these wild dogs when they come close to us? So all of them agreed. Yes, yes, you are right, President. You are right. We will all follow you because you have told the truth. Why should we be afraid of the dogs? So a resolution was passed in the deer conference that we, the deer community of this forest, decide that henceforth we will not get afraid of the dogs. The resolution was passed and it was a few moments and somewhere in the distance one wild dog barked <laughs> and the entire deer conference was dispersed. All of them vanished from this place to all the directions in the forest. Is this Rikarna Shuddhi? We are making all these claims that all these negativities will not affect us. We will not be perturbed an inch whenever any attraction or negative influence comes before us. But the moment there is any such kind of indication, every resolution is put inside the storeroom and we are back to our original ways. 
Trikarna Shuddhi requires consistent awareness. This is what is constant integrated awareness. CIA is actually nothing but TKS. CIA equal to TKS, not Central Intelligence Agency. Constant integrated awareness is equal to Trikarna Shuddhi.